What's up YouTube Empire Comics back with a new video back with a new unboxing as you can see this week's unboxing is pretty big these are the books I picked up from my local comic shop and from another comic shop around here this past Wednesday and these are the books I pre-ordered online and some newer ones I picked up in the last week or so that piggybacked on my subscription as you can see it's a lot of books so I'm gonna try to run through this as fast as possible I'll let you know if there's some first appearances first covers if I don't remember right now offhand, I'll put it somewhere on the bottom like I normally do. But before we get into the books, if you like hunting for low budget keys, weekly combo calls, CGC unboxings, and new combo day spec buys, then click subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is set these to the side somewhere over here. And then we can go through this stack first. You know what, I'd like it better over there. Uh, so let's just get into this. Alright, so this past Wednesday I went to this comic book shop not too far from me and I was surprised to find this since this book is on some top 10 lists already. This is Astonishing X-Men issue 9. As you can see, I only paid $3.25 for it. Matter of fact, I paid less because they had something like a 34% off a deal or something like that. So um, I don't even know. I'll, I'll probably pay like two something. It's in pretty decent shape. No spine ticks or anything like that. I'll probably press it, maybe send it away. We'll see what's up. All right, these next few books go to my ASM Grail Run. These are some books that I'm missing that I wanted just to pick up for like my fillers. The first one I have is Amazing Spider-Man 53 Legacy 494 by uh, J. Michael Skrzynski and John Romita Jr. Um, kind of feel like I saw this picture before or that pose before and I think he did it in his newer run right now in the last few months. Then I got issue the next one, 54, issue 495, The Legacy. Uh, 495 uh, issue 55 legacy 496 then we have 589 return of spot then we have issue 575 and 576 all right this next one is amazing spider-man 131 the wedding of dr octopus and uh, uh aunt may um the only significance to this issue is there is a Mr. Fantastic value stamp on there, but it goes to my ASM Grail Run. Then the next one we have is Amazing Spider-Man 132, Spider-Man vs. the Molten Man. Amazing Spider-Man 133. And Amazing Spider-Man 158. Now if you follow me on Instagram, I talked about this book a few weeks ago. This is Catwoman issue 35. This has the first appearance of Eco. I think I can't pronounce her name. I'll put it somewhere on the bottom. But in uh, DC solicits for I believe Jan uh, February, she takes up the mantle of Catwoman. Uh, so I picked up her first appearance. You never know. Then the next one I have is Batman 129, the foil uh, variant. And I didn't pay ten dollars for it. And I have Just the Society of America issue one, the foil variant. And I also have the regular cover A. And I had to pick up Superman Kal El Returns issue one. This is the spawn variant. That was a pretty cool cover. And we have Nightwing 2022 annual. This has the origin of Heartless. Then we got Wildstorm 30th Anniversary Issue 1, the J. Scott Campbell variant. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Issue 14, uh, this is cover B. This is basically goes down as the first cover of Hollow's Eve. Alright, these are some pretty cool ones. This is the local comic book shop, TMNT, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers one. Um, that's a pretty cool cover. And then I got the same uh, 8 Billion Genies uh, local comic book shop day variant. Then we have G.I. Joe issue 300. This is the wraparound variant. This is the final issue. Then I also picked up G.I. Joe issue 294, the variant. Oh no, that's cover A, sorry. And 293. I was missing these two to uh, complete the connecting cover. I'll put it somewhere up here. It is dope. And the last two for this pile is the Giant Size X-Men issue 1, the facsimile. As you guys know, I'm uh, collecting facsimiles. And we have Incredible Hulk issue 181, the first appearance of Wolverine, the facsimile. 
Wish it was the real one. Maybe one day. All right, let's get into the rest of these books. Let's open this up here. All right. All right, let's get this out the way. Let's see what this stack was. You know what? Let's just open them all up, right? All right. This one out. Right, let's get this one out of here. Don't remember what I ordered. But we're gonna find out. Oh, that's dope. I remember that one. Alright, let's get into this. First one we got here is Daredevil issue five. The extreme variant. Then we have Fantastic Four issue 52, the facsimile. Told y'all I'm collecting these facsimiles. Okay. Another copy of G.I. Joe issue 300. I guess I forgot I ordered this one. Then we got the cover B with the villains. All right. Star Wars Yoda issue one. This is cover A. Looking forward to getting this one. There's two first appearances, I believe, in that one. X-Men issue 17. Then we got the trading card variant with uh, Firestar. All right, and then this one here. I know uh, some of you uh, who follow me know I love 80s, 90s uh, pop culture, nostalgia. Some of you may already know the Green Ranger, Jason David Frank, passed away um, a few days ago. But I found Mighty Morphin's Power Rangers issue 2 which is the first appearance of the Green Ranger. And I was able to get two copies of that right there. Then we have Champions issue 16. Um, this In this issue, a uh, few of these members join the Champions. This issue, a lot of new characters join the team. Plus, it's a pretty cool cover. Uh, decided to pick this one up. You never know if they go the Champions route in the MCU. All right, this next one, this is I Hate Fairyland issue one, cover E, the art germ variant. Uh, then we have um, from What Not Publishing, Ninja Funk issue one. This is that uh, paying homage to Amazing Spider-Man 300. Then we got All Out Avengers issue three. I'm actually liking this uh, this uh, All Out Avengers uh, story. And I picked up the uh, Peach Momoko uh, Black Widow variant. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man issue 14, part of the dark web. This has the first appearance of Chasm, the first appearance. Well, no, not the first appearance of Chasm. I guess it would be the second appearance of Chasm. It has the first appearance of Hollow's Eve. And here is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 14 a variant with Hollow's Eve. Um, we have Avengers Forever issue 11 with the, I guess, the first appearance of the All Rider. All right. Then we have Daredevil issue 5. This is cover A. I got to catch up on Daredevil as well. Batman 126 cover C. This is dope. This is uh, paying homage to that, uh, I believe it's ASM 316 maybe, 317, um, when uh, Venom's over Spider-Man. But that's pretty dope. This is a pretty good story. If you're not reading Batman right now, fail safe. It's crazy. All right, this is dope. I have the new Golden Age issue one. This is the Dan Hip variant. I first found Dan Hip uh, sometime last year. He did a variant for Batman. After that, I told myself I gotta find some more of his covers. And I actually ordered a few. Um, this next one, Harley Quinn, the animated series, Legion and Bats issue two, the Dan Hip variant. I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> then we have the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl issue seven, the Dan Hip variant. Batman issue 52, the Dan Hip variant. New Champion of Shazam issue 2, the Dan Hip uh, variant. Then we got Action Comics issue 42, the Dan Hip variant with uh, Superman and Doomsday. We got Batman Superman 22, Dan Hip variant. Got a few of these guys. Justice League issue 42, the Dan Hip variant. And here's a Marvel one. 
Black Widow issue 19, the Gwen Widow Dan Hit variant. Alright, looks like these are some uh, new comic book day books. Blade Vampire Nation issue 1. Alright, here we go. DC War of the Undead Gods issue 4. This is the uh, variant. Paying homage to X Men issue 1. Collecting all those. Then we got Gambit issue 5, the Dodderman variant. I Hate Fairyland issue 1, cover A. And then the Momoko variant. Immortal X Men issue 8. That's a pretty sick cover there. We got Iron Man issue 25 or Legacy 650. I don't remember ordering this, but this is Murder World Avengers issue 1. I guess I'll give it a whirl. All right, then we have uh, She-Hulk issue 8. All these covers are done by Jim Bartel. I know some people don't like it. I'm digging it. It's a laid-back little run. Then we have Something is Killing the Children. I forget what issue this is, but this is the Jenny Frizen variant. We got Star Wars Dr. Afro issue 26. And I have the variant, uh, forget, these are like the movie variants or something like that. I'm not going to collect those. Department of Truth issue 22. I believe it's coming to an end pretty soon. Okay, another one of uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 14 with the first cover of Hollow's Eve. And another uh, issue 14, cover A. Then we have DC vs. Vampires issue 11. I'm digging these guys. Pretty good story. Alright, we got Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise issue 1, cover A. Some pretty sick art. Reminds me of uh, Silver Surfer Black. 8 Billion Genies issue 6. We got the Jenny Frizen variant for Power Rangers issue 102 with the Pink Ranger. And the last book I got is Dark Crisis, The Dark Army, Issue 1, Cover A. I believe this has the first appearance of Red Canary. All right, guys, that's all the books I have for this unboxing. Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Let me know what you thought about the books in the comments below. And until next time, keep specking. Later.